This video is about the distillation process for binary solutions. There are two main methods of distillation. Method number one is by boiling the liquid mixture to produce vapor to be condensed and separated without allowing the condensed vapor to return back to the liquid. Now this liquid is also known as the still. And when this is not allowed, thus we would call this distillation method distillation without reflux. The second method is the same as above, but we allow the condensed vapor to return back to the liquid. That means with reflux. And specifically, this means that some of the condensed vapor is allowed to return to the still by coming into contact with the rising vapor from the bottom of the distillation column. From these two methods, there are three distillation practices. The first is the differential distillation. Second is the flash or equilibrium distillation. And the third, the one that we will focus on, is the rectification with reflux. This is the diagram of the differential distillation of a binary mixture. From here you can see that it is a single stage process and but because it is single stage complete separation of the two mixture is impossible. This is the two uh, there's two components within this mixture and this mixture is heated up using a heating element and some of the mixture vaporize and goes up into this tube and comes into a condenser where this condenser cool down the vapor to become liquid and the liquid that the vapor that condensed to become liquid is called a condensate. The temperature would have to be set at the boiling point of one of the components in the mixture so that that components will be vaporized and thus separating compo that component from the higher boiling point component. The second method is the flash or equilibrium distillation. In this process, we vaporize a definite fraction of the liquid that makes the resulting vapor in equilibrium with the residual liquid. That means we set a certain temperature so that, again, it would only vaporize a set amount or the defined amount of, of the mixture to separate the two components. Unit is fed with that two component mixture. This mixture is vaporized and that vapor would move into the coil and exit the unit into this container D in gas form or vapor form. And in this container D, it is cooled to, um, to separate the vapor mixture into liquid and gas. The last method is the continuous distillation with rectification. Rectification is defined as a distillation process where some of the condensate, the ones that's vaporized and then cooled, is returned back into the distillation column to come into contact with the rising vapor. So the, the condensate would be returned back to the distillation column through this part here. Now vapor is produced from the heat provided by the reboiler here. It will heat up the mixture or it will heat up the distillation column and it will vaporize some of the mixture and that vapor would rise through the column up here. The vapor bubbles through the liquid flowing down and while it flows through this liquid some of it will be cooled or condensed while there will also be some liquid that does not condense and move upward with ever increasing concentration with every stage. This process is repeated at each stage. In this case there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stage until a certain degree of purity has been reached. Now to produce nearly pure products at the top and the bottom, that means effectively separating the two components of the mixture, the feed F is introduced somewhere in the center of the column at a certain plate. Some definitions here, anything that's above the feed plate, the plate where the feed enters, is called the rectifying section. In this case, it's this section here. And anything below the feed plate is the stripping section here. Bottom, B for bottom, product is removed from the reboiler in this stream here. While the top product, D, for distillate, that comes from the top of the column here, is removed from the condenser, which means here. Some of the distillate is fed back into the distillation column to flow down because this is in liquid form because it's cooled here it will flow down the column and comes into contact with the vapor rising and this is done to further increase the purity or the concentration of the distillate now how do we count the plate numbers of the column we start counting the plate numbers from the top so the 
topmost column is plate number one, the second topmost plate is plate number two, and so on until the bottom of the column.